Online video advertising is the bold new way to cut through the clutter and help your business stand out from the crowd. CSP TV is the first and only regularly scheduled online video news program in the convenience retailing channel, and one of the first ever in any retailing channel. Why advertise on CSP TV? Over the past year, CSP TV viewership has more than doubled, and it continues to grow every month. CSP TV covers the convenience retailing landscape, from large chain retailers to unique independents. With front page placement on CSP Daily News, the industry's number one news daily, your logo and video message is delivered to 30,000 retailers every business day for a week and remains available on CSPNet.com and the CSP TV archive for months. With detailed tracking, CSP TV provides you with insight on who is watching your ad and how often during its week on CSP Daily News. Don't have a video ad? CSP offers low-cost turnkey production capabilities. For as little as $1,000, you can receive a professionally produced 30-second ad you can also use on your website or trade show booths. Companies in all categories have benefited from advertising on CSP TV, and you can too. Contact your CSP sales manager for detailed information. To view the complete lineup of recent CSP TV programs, visit cspnet.com slash TV. Hi, this is Angel Absetti with CSP. Despite the weak economy, major oil sell-offs, competitive forces, and pressures that are coming from the credit card crunch are fueling mergers and acquisitions within the industry. To help us discuss this topic, we have Jim Fisher, CEO of IMST Corporation, whose company helps retailers maximize their assets. Jim, thanks for joining us. Thanks for asking me. Now, Jim, uh, you've watched retailers go through the process of analyzing their assets. Uh, what do you see the picture out there with regards to mergers and acquisitions within the industry? I think mergers and acquisitions are in a phase now where the vast majority of major oil company properties are, are, are gone. There's still some select markets available. Uh, so therefore, that that's a finite universe, and that universe is going to be gone very shortly as they pull out of the remaining markets and pull out of retail. So therefore, it goes then to the next level of, of larger marketers, larger retailers, looking at the possibility of acquiring smaller ones. So it's, I think it's emanating, Angel. I think it's going from the fact that there was a big, a big mass amount of locations and they're getting fewer as it, as it goes on. So therefore, the mergers and acquisitions, the companies that are looking to, to broker and make those are looking at new levels, and that's the levels of the, let's say, the next level down, the, the market or the, the independent retailer. Now, let me take it in another direction for a bit here. Uh, we've heard a lot about the major oil companies possibly going through another round of consolidation. Uh, what do you think the impact will be on the industry with that? It, it will be possibly uh, less brand choice once again. Uh, some brands might be lost to the industry and to the country. Uh, in terms of retail properties being lost, it's very a minimal impact because the properties are, themselves are becoming less and less. But what it can have, as I said, less of brand options uh, for, for the independent retailers, for the independent marketers. It can have lack, the very good possibility of lack of programs available to them, incentives, the programs that they've known today could very well cease. Again, you've helped retailers uh, review their assets, uh, and I'm curious, uh, what's your take on the properties that are out there? Uh, there's the good ones and <laughs> there's the bad ones. So, <laughs> sort of take, the, take some of the bad ones with the good ones. So, you know, there's new generation properties, but the vast majority of those that still exist, which are by market, and it's no longer we're going to we're going to get rid of all of our properties. You know that those actions have been taken care of. Now it's now it's this brand or that brand saying we're going to exit the Northeast or we're going to exit uh, Chicago or we're going to exit you know the set set select markets. So with that, there are those facilities that are 25 and 30 years old. There are the 30 year old island marketers of which nothing has been done to and nothing can be done to. But then at the same time, you've got maybe a you know, a 3,600 square foot newer facility that's less than 10 years or eight, eight years old that has got 10 or, you know, eight or 10 MPDs. But you, you sort of take the good with the bad in many cases, and that's the way they're being wrapped up in, in, in packages. You know, there's, there's very little 
I'll take this one. There's very little picking just by packages. So with that, it's very important for the buyers to be aware of the overall scope and the potential of those properties. And on that note, you've helped a lot of retailers review their assets. I'm just curious, uh, what advice would you have for those who are buying and selling? Uh, let's start with the selling. Watch HD, HGTV and see curb appeal. <laughs> yeah. But no, seriously, I mean, it's really for sellers, it's know the asset you have, uh, be very realistic on what you expect in terms of EBITDA and other marks. And, you know, use very realistic uh, values now today based on today's asset values and not yesterday's. But it's very, very important to know that that to look at your, pro your, your various facilities, your projects, individually and say, what do I have to do to make this look the very best it can from the eyes of a potential buyer as well as the consumer? So they have to look at every property individually and say, what do I do to get this ready for sale? And what about some tips for buyers? Uh, of course, they're going to do, buy they're going to do real estate appraisals but also do a sales performance versus potential appraisal. Know that you know, if you're looking at 10 properties, that what are the real, where are the priorities of those 10? Out of those 10, what are the ones that I, I should get rid of immediately? What are the ones that are doing very, very well and above market expectation? I'll let them alone. Then with the ones that are not achieving what they can achieve, how do I prioritize those and say, okay, with this one, I do, if I do take these actions, I'll achieve this amount of growth. This one, if I take this uh, stated amount of actions, I'll achieve this amount of growth. So you have to really categorize the facilities and say, where do I spend my capital once I acquire these? Where am I going to get the biggest return? Jim, thank you so much for joining us today. For more on merger and acquisition activity, look for CSP Magazine's cover story in February. I'm Angel Absetti for CSP. Thanks for joining us. Online video advertising is the bold new way to cut through the clutter and help your business stand out from the crowd. CSP TV is the first and only regularly scheduled online video news program in the convenience retailing channel, and one of the first ever in any retailing channel. Why advertise on CSP TV? Over the past year, CSP TV viewership has more than doubled, and it continues to grow every month. CSP TV covers the convenience retailing landscape, from large chain retailers to unique independents. With front page placement on CSP Daily News, the industry's number one news daily, your logo and video message is delivered to 30,000 retailers every business day for a week and remains available on CSPNet.com and the CSP TV archive for months. With detailed tracking, CSP TV provides you with insight on who is watching your ad and how often during its week on CSP Daily News. Don't have a video ad? CSP offers low-cost turnkey production capabilities. For as little as $1,000, you can receive a professionally produced 30-second ad you can also use on your website or trade show booths. Companies in all categories have benefited from advertising on CSP TV, and you can too. Contact your CSP sales manager for detailed information. To view the complete lineup of recent CSP TV programs, visit CSPNet.com slash TV.